viewer question from Harun Siddiqui, which I'd like to put to Dr. Sathwe. Now, he's asking whether home tests can differentiate between Delta and Omicron. I know you've tweeted a lot about genome sequencing as well. So I'd like you to club your answer with that maybe and tell a little bit about that to our viewers. So um, uh, home testing uh, I, uh, with the lateral flow test uh, cannot distinguish between the variants of, uh, uh, of SARS-CoV-2. Um, usually uh, you are looking for specific antigens on the lateral uh, flow test. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, the most lateral flow tests look for the nucleocapsid antigen on the virus. Now, uh, RT-PCR is an incredibly sensitive test, which looks for specific genes and amplifies them. Uh, now, uh, the idiosyncratic thing about Omicron is that it will test, uh, it will pick up, it will be picked up um, when RT-PCR is being done for, let's say, two genes, but it will not be picked up when the test is looking for the S gene, all right? So let's say you have uh, two or three different genes that the RT-PCR test is looking for, and uh, it's picking up two, but it's dropping out on the S gene. That's an indirect evidence. Uh, that uh, the test has picked up Omicron indirect because you might uh, you have to confirm this with genome sequencing. Now there is a limited capacity for genome sequencing uh, anywhere in the world, so you cannot uh, start uh, picking up every sample and, and subjecting it to genome sequencing. But uh, this S gene target failure or the S gene dropout is a quick surrogate or a quick proxy. Uh, to identify Omicron. And even this, because what's happened is that some of the, the, uh, the kits that are available for the S gene, S gene kits are not commonly available in India. Uh, there's, there's one particular kit that has been manufactured by, uh, I think, Thermo Fisher, which uh, is expensive. And I don't think laboratories can, uh, can start using it because there's a, there's a cap on uh, how much you can charge for an RT-PCR. Uh, but there are some indigenous kits, which um, I believe were awaiting ICMR approval, which still hasn't come in to the best of my knowledge. My advice would be that now is the time to actually start sequencing severe disease. When you're seeing true severe disease, at least subject it to the S-gene target failure test to find out if it is Omicron or not. And, and sequencing these uh, cases, because you will have your answer there if Omicron is producing severe disease or not. <laughs>